There's a new scam in town and you might already be a victim. It's an online shopping scam where a scammer makes a fake website to look exactly like a real website. The goal of the scammer is to trick you into making a purchase so that they can get you to enter your card information. Now, what makes these scams even more dangerous is that some of these fake stores may actually deliver products or services. They do this to build trust, but what's really happening behind the scene is that your credit card detail is being stored and the scammer then goes to the real website to make the order. So, to give you an example, you go on a website that looks similar to Sheen, but instead of it being Sheen.com, it's Sheen with an extra N. So, Sheen.com. You create an account and you place an order. Then the scammer will take your card information and go to the actual store website and place the same order so that it can be delivered to you. This makes them look like a legitimate website. They will then save your card information and attempt to use it later without your permission. Welcome to Crime Time News and Entertainment with a Buzz. This is the next part of the series, the scammer them there. These scammers are finding all sorts of creative, innovative way to separate you from your cash. So the next thing is called the copycats, where they imitate popular websites, make you order from them, they themselves order it, and then them get your card information. And when you least expect it, they will drain that card after they build your confidence. The place in which I got this information, it is called Island Brains on TikTok. So therefore, you can follow, subscribe, whatever you do. Make our know say Jamaica Dance All Source sent you. So now that you have that information, you have the intelligence, make sure say so you take heed. Don't be a victim. Do the right thing or the wrong thing. I go do you. Point blank and period. So the next thing that is popping in the news, it is called the pros and cons to everything. We see that the love for vice cartel is real, but the hate is even realer or even worse. So apparently, vice cartel that has been seen on social media with him wife, his fiance to them. People are bashing her, say, it seems as if she keeps repeating the same clothes. She is some sort of plain Jane, especially when she is with a star. So Vice Cartel address the situation. Take a listen, take a look to exactly what he has to say, and then I'll give my piece. There is a nation, cock your ears. This is not for Una. You know, where well, dear, me am a woman, fiancé, and, you know, my little son, I could, and we go Panama, do a little shopping and thing, and, you know, have a little vacation and bring my son and so I say. Little added it there as well, but I never really mean go with, we just happen to be on the same flight, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so I really mean see them and I could and go. Yeah, all right, I don't know I could and give him one. You remember how much money give, me give him, but it was a lot. And... You can see them some money to me. I know maybe I say 30,000 30, US or some, something along the line, the 28,000. And when we did go shopping, she has said, Oh, these things are so expensive. And we must say, Babes, you have the money. Anything you want, just buy. I got you. You know, the most expensive thing she buy was a purse, a Gucci purse for my mother. But it bought 2,600 US. That are the most expensive things she buy. She's not a fussy girl, you know? Yeah. Come remember, and every, everybody, and everybody want to dress like or like Una. You know what I mean? Really? Yeah. Some people just good with them modest dressing and thing. And she good. You know? Anything she want, the girl. So, yeah. And, I no found out when I say I come here, I go for this one more. But when I go up on go up on a page, my sister is a sufferer, when I'm hungry. So I'm not going to add insult to injury. You know what I mean? Yeah, just. So no, say, babe, my baby is good. Anything she wants, I got her. Yeah, I'm on a rich life, man. Down? No? Oh. I'm out. Now, people, just in case you did not know, 
Jamaicans are the worst people upon social media. There's a saying that goes something like this. Misery loves company. So whenever these people see people happy, see people make money, they find anything for criticize. So therefore, if see them did 99 things good, very, very good, and one thing wrong, they are going to nitpick. They are going to pick out the one wrong thing that she did. People have to understand some people are simple. Some people are not fussy. Some people come from a different culture in which they do not glorify any sorts of name brand stuff. You have people who have the gold digger syndrome and then you have people that are savers. So even though she knows her man have money, man is a rich man, she is not going to go out there and floss and flaunt it. She would probably rather to take that money and put it in a some sorts of good use. Invest it wherein her man and herself can be better in the future. So you hear Fire Scartel come out and his natural instincts is kicking in because he must say, it's not everybody of the same whorish mentality for dress in all sorts of impy skimpy and people. It is obvious by the way that see them dress that she is a simple, sophisticated, not too fussy person. People have different culture. People carry themselves different way. So therefore, leave people, make them live them life. Especially when their lives is better than 99.999% of the people that are criticizing. So we know that Jamaicans, the critics, they are very relentless. They are very critical. And whenever them start, they now go stop until them depress you. Make you go find some sorts of short rope and jump off of some sorts of tall bridge. So there's a series of pictures that is making its round over social media. And people are saying, hold on a minute. How see them look like she thin out so? How see them look like she afraid so? How see them look like some sorts of cane trash? How see them this to them that anything that they can say bad about this young lady, they are saying... Now, people, here's the thing, like me say, people not fussy, people, they are them home. A lot of you people upon social media want to put up or put on this makeup, look like some powder puff kind of thing, some sort of filter and they on social media a pose. This lady do not need to pose. This lady done already have her man in her eyes. If she get born, yes or no, me no know that. So therefore, she's in her yard, she not have on her makeup, she might even put on her man t-shirt and it look kind of big pan her, make her look more slimmer. Because remember, she's already a slim body lady. So therefore, she was never thick, she never have no ASS, she never look voluptuous from day one. So therefore, this is how she looks when she is out, she might glam up a little bit, a tad bit. But when she did in her yard, she got dressed up in her yard clothes, maybe even her man clothes being vice cartel. So therefore, why are you guys so critical against people? And yes, maybe she is stressed out. And yes, maybe she will get some sorts of bun. But if that is even the case and she will get bun, that is her problem for her to deal with. When a man and a woman have them problem, they have to sort it out by themselves. It is not up to you. You do not have any rights. Nobody give you any sorts of rights. And I understand that whenever you are a people person, whenever you are some sorts of social media personality or some sorts of celebrity, it is what you signed up for. You have to take the good with the bad. Fans are always going to be critical, especially if they are fans of Shorty the X of Vice Cartel. What them and Vice Cartel need to do is lock themselves away from the comments on social media because while they are good for every 100 good comment one bad comment is the comment that is going to stick mostly in your mind so therefore you have to just understand when it comes to social media you cannot be thin-skinned because these people out here they are out for b-l-o-o-d so we have to understand that if see them went in this relationship and she got in ignorant, she had um, blinkers, and she was not aware of the possibility 
that is something that she will have to deal with. And eventually we are going to see if it works, yes or no. If you ask most people, they are going to say that this is just for a time. Sooner or later, Vice Cartel is going to do some sorts of switcheroo. Sooner or later, he is going to go back to his natural instinct, which is being a gallus, being a womanizer, especially after 13 years in the big yard. However, people, that is yet to be determined. I am not going to predict anybody's future. Me just I say, leave it up to time. Like him say, time and God, time is the master. So at the end of the day, like I always said, misery loves company. And this is not just criticism. This is hate for the most part. Point blank and period. So the next thing that is popping in the news, you know, say... The JC of Jamaica Constable Force, they are kind of hopeless. They are kind of outmanned. They do not have the proper resources to deal with crime or even when people lose them life. They are just ill-prepared. Sometimes they are just nonchalant about persons losing their life or even being missing. I am speaking about an incident that took place maybe about 17 days ago wherein a youth known as Omar Skyers. He and a next young girl got washed away at the Castleton Gardens that is in St. Mary, washed away in the Wagwater River. The lady was found, this happened the Thursday, the lady was found maybe on Saturday, yes, Saturday to be exact. However, Mr. Skyers was found 16 days later. What I noticed and what was very concerning to me is that it seems as if the poor poor were kind of nonchalant. It seems as if the poor poor were not really searching. Yes, they did, took some sorts of reports. And yes, when the body was found, they showed up and they called the fire brigade and they was there for the closure, meaning identification of the body. But had it not been for the people from the community in which Mr. Skyers is from, especially his friend Kino. This youth body would have been devoured by the vultures. It would have disintegrated to nothing, none at all. So thanks to the people and the community in which the body was found, they played a very important role. Thanks to the fact that the family member of this youth got some sorts of body that they can at least cremate or have some sorts of closed casket funeral for, get some sorts of closure. At the end of the day, what this proves to us, like I said, the JCF, they are ill-prepared. They are very nonchalant about D-E-A-T-H or even recovery or missing people. Point blank and period. So the next thing that is popping in the news, it seems as if Squash is proving more and more that he is not the GOAT. He is the cat of dancehall, meaning he has nine lives. Meaning that the amount of time that his name been called upon all sorts of pie pie up, all sorts of crime. The amount of enemies that he have, it is surprising that he is even still alive. We all know that Squash, because of fear, have been performing for about five years or so. We all know that when it comes to dancehall or music on a whole, most of the money is made on performance. So Squash decided he is going to do his long-anticipated first performance in over five years at Big Breeze, Miami. Don't know if he's a promoter or just the main act. And when he came out, he was dissing the ups, meaning Skeng and the people from Seven, because we know that they are at some sorts of verbal, subliminal, or even straight dissing war. Take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my peace. I don't know the nothing disrespect. I'm still wondering how you ever saw. No more candy is gonna buy for them. Also, boy, I want this watch for them to hide. Pussy on a coward. They're bad for them to wear the gun. You see one thing? Pussy them, drink them, shoot them. Rich markets.
So people, what I've noticed is that with this nine life syndrome, each time he gets away with it, each time he feels luckier and luckier, he keeps pushing the envelope. This in the ups, even though he was away for five years and I understand this is entertainment. I understand this is dance hall and street credibility counts for a whole lot. Me just I say, every day that the bucket goes to the well, one day at the bottom I go drop out. And people, I am not wishing anything ill on anybody, but me just I say, the way things have been going, it can only end one way. People, let me know in the comment section what do you think that is. Point blank and period so people in the group if you are not hearing by this now the the between 11 o'clock this morning it was only five percent of sent and people went out and vote and they have many different reasons why they are not voting so it means that if you can't click that's only 2500 people that vote down there in a center people not pineapple great pan and them place a ball out and they're not this them that they are not going out to vote and it is 43.8 percent people um 43,000.8 person supposed to vote down there and it's only 2500 that vote between now, between the time now. So literally means that the people don't have the aid, don't have the place literally asleep. Electoral office said they will lock the office five o'clock down there. The voters will lock five o'clock. So politics in Jamaica is in serious trouble. All right. People are saying Wally up in a great pond so I've only a tourist attractment, but it now keep good, it now keep up. So the people them down at Ochi give the reason why they are not voting. Them said the town not clean up your tourist town. Them are give the reason why. So we just have to go by the people them down there. But it's a sad day in Jamaican election, Jamaican politics now, because the people them give the reason why they are not voting. The people said them fed up by the colors them now. Them who are just meeting. And the people them are give account that the member of whosoever is a member. Them only have a vote them in and they now see them. Cause them now fix them road, them now do nothing. These are common as all. But the people are speaking out once. Once of, and for all, the people are speaking out on an election day. The people are not putting their ex out there. But it's a sad state. Little bit of voter, little bit of percent. People have neither interest in the PNP nor the JLP. Pretty much two party, but both of them are playing the same sad song. So if you change JLP for PNP, it is pretty much like changing black sheep for black monkey. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. Bless up.